What up, what up, what up? It's your girl, the Blue Empress. Did you miss me? Be honest. <laughs> yes, people. I am back. Lord, Lord Jesus. It's just, wow. Where the fuck have I been? You already know the real team. If you all know what's up, you guys follow me on Instagram. You know how it goes. I've been working, school, kids, married life. You know how it goes. Hey, else. <laughs> But, yeah, what, what, what the fuck has been new? Well, I think from the last time we have uh, seen one another, my royal men and royalettes, um, it's been quite some weeks, I guess you can say. Well, the new thing is I no longer am a housekeeper anymore. No, I decided to make the executive decision and leave them because I felt like they weren't taking the necessary precautions and keeping us safe. And it just seems no matter what came out of my motherfucking big mouth, nobody was taking it into consideration. So I was just like, okay, fuck it, whatever. Um, yes, I am working. Because during the duration, I was looking for another job and I finally got another job. Of course, it's an essential job. Go figure. You really think I'm going to stay up in this damn house with these kids and drive myself nuts? Yeah, I think I barely have edges now because I damn near almost wanted to yank them all out because of these dang on kids. And yes, of course, this fucking pandemic is still going on, people. Still going on. Yes, we are still in that whole stay-at-home order, which, of course, if you all know, if you live in Michigan, it's been extended to May 28th. My man called it. He already said that she was going to extend it a another time because at first it got extended to May the 15th. And then all of a sudden she extended to the 28th. So he already kind of figured that she was going to extend it. Like she's not going to uplift this shit until June, if anything. So go figure. So of course I had to go back to the basics and put on these fucking glued on fucking nails because the nail salons are still closed i ain't worried about the hair because you all know i braid hair it's really fucked up that i had to learn how to braid hair on youtube it's just hilarious but you know what who cares i did it so what do you know good thing is the beauty supply store had actually opened and i was able to go and get some hair so now i can braid up my daughter's hair skippity do oh it feels so good it really does the one thing I can clearly say right now that, you know, if, if this, the title of my video, it feels so good to be alive. And the thing is, I got that from a song, you know, obviously the song is called It's So Good to Be Alive. It's from the Peanuts um, movie. And it's like every time when I listen to that song, my spirit just lifts up because the simple fact that this whole coronavirus, when it, when the whole thing broke out, everyone just fucking flipped out, just started just fearing for the worst and whatnot, thinking we ain't going to make it through this shit. And the thing is, we made it this far, people. We made it this fucking far. And you know what? It feels good to know that, that we're still here. I mean, to the people that lost their lives because of this coronavirus, my condolences to their, their family and friends, their coworkers, and everyone who's ever known them, my condolences for real. To the people that are still alive, still living their lives, and still working, taking care of their families, and doing all they can to make sure that everyone is healthy and staying alive, it feels good, don't it? It, it just feels good to be alive. It, it really does. I thank the blessed Lord that I'm still living, you know, even through this whole pandemic that we're going through. I can't say the same for everybody. I really can't. I can't. I mean... <laughs> I'm a cashier now at a grocery store, and I'm not going to say the grocery store because I was told if you mention any business in any videos, you'll get in trouble for that, so I'm not going to mention the company that I work for. Just know that I'm a cashier at a grocery store. That's the furthest that it's going to go. But at my job, it's mandatory for us to wear a mask, and I have no problem with that. Okay, I'll take that back. I do have a problem with that because I can't breathe through those motherfuckers. But luckily, I got me a mask. Hopefully, it's a lot better for me to breathe and I don't have to keep going down like this you know having to you know breathe 
because these masks oh my gosh it's so hard to fucking breathe through these motherfuckers it's crazy and even when you like slightly bring it down i got somebody walking past you somebody so you better put that back on your face can a bitch breathe please damn and you know i'm gonna take a drink of water so what you want me to do you want me to cut a hole through my mask and just drink through there well no because my whole mouth got to be covered so gotta bring it down lift it up which way it goes i don't care i'm gonna take me a sip of water fuck you <laughs> you know they let me drink water come on now gotta stay hydrated but then you got people that's like why are you not wearing gloves why are you not doing this why are you in my business why do you give a fuck you six feet away from me leave it at that okay the gloves at my job got that damn fucking powder substance in them gloves and guess what it affects my skin I don't know about y'all motherfuckers, but I love my skin, and I'll be damned if I let something just destroy it. I've had the skin all my life. I don't want to mess it up. Shit. But yes, I have the choice to wear gloves or not, but I do wash my motherfucking hands. I do sanitize my hands. I keep myself clean as well as my house. So what's that? You know, you just got people out there that just really try to control everybody when it comes to wearing a mask, wearing gloves, staying a certain feet away from me. You know what? Do me a favor. You don't got to stay six feet away from me. Stay 12 feet away from me. Matter of fact, 20 feet will suffice because I'm not going to deal with your fucking epic stupidity. And what I mean by that is, people, that there is just some motherfuckers out there living in fear. During this whole thing, since this whole pandemic broke out, people have been living in fear. Let, let, and let me ask these questions here about that. Is fear going to find a cure for this um, virus? No. Is it going to make it go away? No. Is it going to open up all these businesses back up? No. So what the fuck is fear going to do? It's not hurting everybody. It's hurting you mentally and physically and emotionally so why live in fear why sit over here and ball yourself up in a fucking ball and it, even if a little touch of you came from someone you're literally freaking the fuck out to where you taking out hand sanitizer and you fucking rubbing yourself down with the shit hell you even lysol on your damn self it's not that serious come on now lysol yourself why don't you just bleach yourself down for all i care Oh, well, you can't do that because you'll stain your damn clothes. Probably irritate your skin. Oh, and don't fucking drink bleach. And don't motherfucking shoot yourself with disinfectant. You all know who said it. I'm not going to say the name. You know who the person is. Not worthy of the name coming out this beautiful lips. But you all know. If you, if you all been looking at the news, you know who fucking said that shit. I'm not saying the name. You all know who. But don't do it. We didn't already had dumb motherfuckers do it. Don't you be one of them dumb motherfuckers. Just saying. My royal man, royalettes, I know you ain't do it. So I'm going to leave it at that. And to the people that, um, the new people that subscribe to my channel, thank you. Congratulations. You are now part of the royal man and royalettes brigade. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I hope that I did, I think I did subscribe to your channels, to whoever who subscribed to my channel. So... I am hoping to see a lot of your videos and comment on it and everything. That's pretty much all I've been doing lately is just looking at videos and commenting on things and whatnot. So, yeah, it is what it is in that department. But, you know, as far as this pandemic and everything, man, I've just been been living my life like, like it's any other day. Even before this whole thing broke out, I've just been living my life. I haven't been living in fear. You know, I take all the necessary precautions and I just leave it at that. You know, I don't do, I don't have this attitude where it's like, well, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. Fuck that. I want to live. And then hell, I got four kids. I got to live. I got to make sure I take every precaution. You know, I, I stocked up on, you know, tissue and paper towel. And yes, I left enough for society to get their share too. I'm not a hoarder. Unlike some motherfuckers have been since this whole thing started. You know, I got my vitamins. I got medicine. You know, we went out and got, did our food shopping. You know, we, we did what was necessary to be done, you know. And 
we have the choice whether or not we want to work, but we got motherfucking bills to pay, so of course we're going to keep on working. To the people who obviously can afford to stay home during this whole thing, you know, congratulations to you. Whatever. But yeah, I'm just really just just blessed to still be alive and still be able to you know, get up in the morning and go to work and still be able to, you know, get things I need to get and, you know, take care of my family and, you know, whatnot. I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to do that because you don't have a lot of people that's able to do that. You know, and people don't have the same attitude as I do, you know, when it comes to this pandemic. Everybody want to live in fear. Everybody want to be the damn mask patrol and the glove patrol and you know, trying to tell you what to do and all this other mess. And, you know, the thing is, you should be fucking grateful that you're still alive during this whole thing. You don't need to worry about everybody else. You need to worry about you and you yourself only and your family. That's all you need to worry about. Don't take it upon yourself to go out and tell somebody, wear a mask, wear gloves, da 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 Don't do it because I don't already heard stories of people getting killed because they're not wearing a mask or they're being refused to enter an establishment because they're not wearing gloves or wearing a mask. That's what I'm talking about. You going around trying to tell somebody what to do, you need to worry about yourself. As long as you good and you doing what you're supposed to do, that's all that should matter to you. Don't sit over here and go around telling motherfuckers what to do because you don't know how they're going to react. It's bad enough we didn't have some stories about people getting shot because they weren't wearing a mask. Or they were refused to go into an establishment because they weren't wearing a mask. Don't be that person. Please don't. It's not worth your life. You are already going through this pandemic. Do you really want to lose your life early? And I'm not talking about to the virus. I'm talking about in the hands of an idiot. That's how you want to roll. That's your prerogative. I ain't gonna be, that ain't going to be me. I stay out of people's business. I've seen people enter my fucking job, my establishment's job, without a mask. Do I refuse service to them? No. As long as I got that glass and you six feet away from me and you don't touch me, we good. That's all I'm asking. I'm still going to service your ass. And you'll be surprised how many people tell me, thank you for working here today. Thank you for being here. People then then gifted me with things. And I'm like, well, well thank you. you I, I appreciate it. Um, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, I'm, I'm working. I'm doing my job. I'm providing for my family. I mean, what else more can I do? You know, this is what I do anyway. But the fact it just feels good to be appreciated by, you know, people that, you know, they appreciate what you're doing during this whole pandemic. Because you got a lot of people that's not working during this whole pandemic. Some people are actually, you know, staying home and, you know, avoiding contact and avoiding, you know, any type of you know, social, you know, whatever. But you got people that's actually out there wanting to, you know, help out the, the what, you know, with the community society. And I'm just one of those people. So, I mean, to the people that did that for me, you know, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. And I um, hope to see you again. You know, but people just, you know, mind your own damn business. Don't go around here trying to tell somebody what to do as far, you know, during this whole pandemic. You know, this whole pandemic has affected us mentally and physically and emotionally and all this stuff you know this is like really affecting all of us and even if it's over it's still going to affect us because even though if it's over is it really over are we going to go back to how it was before this whole outbreak happened or are we still going to see people wearing masks and gloves? And are we still going to see people staying six feet away from each other, even though it's supposedly over? Who knows? This whole thing affects people's mental mind. Especially the ones that have been living in fear since this whole thing started. Now, to the people who have not been living in fear, it may affect you, but not to the extent as a person who's been living in fear during this whole pandemic. It's going to affect you a little bit. But you manage to just be like, you know what? I'm here. I'm alive. God has blessed me and my family to be alive and be protected. You know, I'm just going to keep on pushing. But to the people that's been living in fear, yeah, it's going to take one minute for them to actually get back to normal. If that is such a word anymore. I doubt it. But yeah, people, um, me and my family are cool. Um, 
I'm actually starting to see face masks at certain establishments. So if that's not really a clear sign that it's almost over, I don't know what is. But I'm happy that I'm able to, you know, get some masks for, you know, my kids and for my hub and for my man. You know, Sorry, my hubby, you know, and for me. So I'm thrilled about that. Um, I still keep my kids in the house. You know, they go outside for a little bit to play with their kids. You know, not their kids. I'm so sorry. Play with their friends. And sometimes they just stay in the house. <laughs> but they do miss uh, their friends in school and they miss their teachers. Hell, I miss them being in school. Who don't miss their kids being in school? Because I'm really starting to believe our kids are going to be illiterate in a minute if they don't go back to school. You'd be surprised how many people I deal with at my job that act like they fucking illiterate and can't even comprehend what the fuck I be saying. That's another video. <laughs> I ain't going to go into that. <laughs> but um, like I said, the title of this video says it all. It feels good to be alive and I'm just going to keep the spirits up. I'm going to keep the faith. God's going to get us through this. He got us through every other freaking outbreak disaster we've ever faced. And we're going to get through this. So I don't know about the rest of y'all, but to my royal men and royalettes, we going to keep the faith. You're going to be in my circle, in my crew. You got to keep the faith. You got to believe in the faith that we're going to get through this. And I know we're going to get through this. It's we're getting there. The FDA already has approved a vaccination for the coronavirus. So let's keep our fingers crossed and pray to the heavens that this vaccination will go through again and they will distribute it and give it to the people to prevent them from getting this virus. And once that happens, you can clearly say, we did it, we've been through it. We're America, we're the United States, we got through it and we are gonna keep on pushing. We're not gonna let this get the best of us anymore. We're not gonna live in fear anymore. We did it, they fought it, we got the care for it. Let's go on and keep on keeping on. That's all we can do. So that's all I really have to say. I know y'all miss me doing these videos, and I'm going to try my hardest to make sure I keep up with the videos. And so now that I done got myself together with my new job and everything, so hopefully I should be back on schedule, you know, with making videos. So to my royal men and royalettes, I love you guys. Stay safe. Protect yourself. Keep the faith. This is going to be over with real soon. I have the faith that it will. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Stay safe. Bye.